How many times have you checked the weather and then walked outside to be greeted by this? <laughs> Surely we're smart enough now to be able to predict the weather, right? <laughs> My name is Neeraj Lal. I'm a PhD student from Canberra, Australia, studying as a Gates Scholar here at the University of Cambridge in the Department of Physics. Part of my work and part of recreational is a bit of outreach as well, so I'd love to get out there and, and talk to kids and talk to the general public about what we're doing because I think it's a great thing and an important thing to do. Uh, hello, everyone. So tonight, I want to tell you about the science of solar electricity. Master of Light and all things science, give it up for Dr Nee! So what we're going to do here is we're going to use some science to make a really big bang. It's liquid nitrogen, 196 degrees below zero. I'm going to pour it into this bottle and put it in the bucket. Up to down, pour some ping pong balls on top of the bottle. Carbon is burning with the oxygen in the air to create a massive flame and some carbon dioxide. But with rising sea levels, where exactly will our beaches be? Let's ask Tim Flannery. Ah, bitch. That's him. Good Hi. to see you. Those same measurements peg blue denim is pretty safe though. So double denim at the beach, you should be fine. I'm also going to need professional help. Someone with a far stronger hold on the science than me. But according to Niraj, the numbers add up. We need F friction, force of friction, to equal or be greater than the amount of force pulling him to the ground. A tod weighs, harness and everything about 100 kilograms. This needs to be about 1,000 newtons is the force of pressure that he needs. Um, it's every little kid's dream to be Spider-Man on a wall, uh, but would I do it with a pair of dodgy vacuum cleaners? No way. How does weather prediction even work? <laughs> that last one is unnecessary. <laughs> Come out. Come out. <laughs>